now would like to present you an excerpt from the program of people born on March 21 leap years or March 22 common years. This is a very brief overview of this personality. All information was taken from the catalog of human population. Let's go! This individual can be distinctively described as anemic, disconnected and half-dead. Others perceive him as a person who is more dead than alive. When looking at him, one might remember the stories about zombies who got resurrected by voodoo. You can find familiar characters in numerous ancient legends. It is thought, for example, that ancient Hebrew rabbis could create copies of a human being using natural elements and materials such as clay, sand, water and fire. They called those creatures golems and they looked almost exactly like real, alive people. Um, they could talk, walk and react adequately to a particular situation. Despite of external similarity, however, these creatures were not human. This example describes a person with this program very well. Regardless of all observant vital signs, his behavior reminds the one of a golems. He automatically moves his arms and his legs, says something, eats something, does something, interacts with someone, but he does it in such a way that others may think that he is a zombie or just a body in front of them. He looks as if he was bloodless, deprived of all vital energy. He is like this from the moment of birth. It is useless to try to explain his behavior based on environmental condition, other people's influences, or events in his life. He looks as if the Creator forgot to endow him with soul. Thus, one can perceive him as a cold, indifferently calm and heartless. <laughs> These trails make an impression as if he was just a corpse in a morgue, still fresh but not alive. He is calm, reserved, apathic and aloof to all and everything, including himself. He is not in a hurry to be anywhere or to do anything. He doesn't really want anything out of his life. His behavior and personal philosophy remind the well-known characters of the famous American movie, The Adams Family. They look energetic and joyful, but while putting a bouquet of flowers in the vase, they cut off the buds and admire naked sticks. He regards himself and others as a potential fertilizer for soil to sustain different plants' growth. And if everybody is just a part of a natural, utilize materials. This person is the death advocate, who not only accepts it, but defends and praises it. Like a great Plato, uh, he is convinced that uh, the body is a prison of the soul. He believes that in order to become immortal, he needs to get rid of the perishable flesh. He thinks that the soul should be free. Thus, the death of a body is normal and evil positive condition. Death doesn't frighten nor repels him, but instead causes interest and even some enthusiasm. The subject of death excites him, attracts his attention and thoughts like a magnet. He is deeply concerned with the mystical process of passing from life to death, from one state to another, from one world to another. He is interested in philosophy of death. In order to understand it, he reads different materials on this subject. It can be necrological reports, uh, current news on accidents and catastrophes, or classical philosophical essays. He is also uh, genuinely interested in different scientific researches that uh, is concluded on the subject of death. For example, the scientific articles that were published based on the body weight, compassion before and after death, which concluded that uh, the documented difference in several grams attributes the existence of human soul. Besides scientific research, which explains death from this point of view, this person can be interested in mystical books which describe death after another perspective. Uh, he can also become curious in uh, how is the process of death is described in different religious and ancient or contemporary cults. Uh, he, his favorite book may be uh, Dr. Moldis, A Life After Death. This book describes cases of people who experienced clinical death, who were there and saw the mistress light at the end of the tunnel.
This individual is also interested in the description of bloody battles, wars and historical conflicts, which resulted in huge quantity of victims. Uh, he is drawn to the detailed portrayal of these historical figures, rulers, leaders or commanders, who are responsible for leading the nation or part of it to such bloody outcomes. <coughs> He is also fascinated with kamikaze samurai shahids who willingly sacrifice their lives. He may be interested in criminal history or bloody crimes and famous killers and murderers. Uh, this individual is interested in absolutely everything that results in human death and historical uh, events that lead to it, any material objects, any natural disasters. He is captivated by executions, accidents, catastrophes that involve numerous human victims, and a mystical cults that involve human sacrifice. He is interested in ancient pyramids, uh, death, dead languages, archaeological excavations, mummification, uh, mummies, quick and deep freezing, which theoretically allows one to revive a human in the future. Thus, this person's spectrum of interests uh, is quite wide, but all of them relate to death. For the complete information about this or any other subtype structure, please visit www.catalogofhumanpopulation.org. Goodbye!